shares people let's quickly revise buyback of equity shares with the help of our chart book so the shares with differential rights is not there right now so just you can cut it off the first buyback means the company is cancelling equity shares so it simply means cancellation first some of the buyback provisions is only fully paid up equity shares has to be bought back and if you are doing buyback up to 10% then board resolution is sufficient if you want to do a buyback beyond 10% of paid up capital and free reserve you need to take a special resolution and for this purpose that it is nothing but 10% of paid up capital or uh, i mean 25% of what paid up capital free reserves and free reserve for this purpose also includes securities premium okay and if you want to do a buyback the buyback of provision should be authorized by articles. articles of association if our articles doesn't contain this clause amend your article bring in this clause and then do the buyback and buyback has to be completed within 12 months of date of passing the resolution and once you decide to buy back and the share has to be physically destroyed within seven days so these are some companies act ka buyback provisions then we have a condition or the maximum buyback also there are some criteria basically three criterias one is the share outstanding test how many ever shares we have 25% of that you can do a buyback within a particular year that is one second is your resource test which says 25% you can buy back and 25% of what paid up equity share capital free reserve and a security premium find out that that will give you the value of the shares take that value and divide by the buyback price you will get the number of or maximum number of shares you can buy back as per the resource test the last is your debt equity ratio wala test the debt equity test after buyback or post buyback should not exceed 2 and the debt for this purpose includes both long term as well as short term debt and equity for this purpose includes paid up equity share capital free reserves and securities premium fr stands for free reserve okay hey here to find out this debt equity ratio we use that x method we assume that the total face value of the equity shares bought back let it be x accordingly substitute that x in the equation and get its value okay see see rr sir so whenever you redeem preference shares or for that matter when you do buyback of equity shares you have to the capital will reduce and to fill that capital gap you have to create a reserve called capital redemption reserve or crr so crr is also you, you can also say one more way crr is created to the extent of free reserve you utilize how much of free reserve you utilize to that extent you can also create crr okay ignore premium on buyback for crr purpose because crr is intention is only to fill the capital gap you will show always capital at what value face value so does premium affect crr calculation no premium i mean crr is only related to face value hence premium portion is ignored there are few methods of buyback that you can talk about for a class purpose we call it as profits shares combination study material says free reserve security premium and new shares but you can simply treat it as profit shares and combination okay then buyback wala entries are given first is equity share capital account debit then so if normally you redeem or buy back these shares at premium premium happens to be a loss so premium on buy back account you debit to equity share buy back account this premium you first try to set off with securities premium provided security premium has enough balance if you don't have balance then you can utilize free reserve like general reserve or pnn so the entry will be sp account debit to premium on buy back then entry to create crr is crr is only created from free reserve so the journal entry will be general reserve or pnl account debit to crr account the last is a payment entry will be equity share buyback account debit to bank account yes so this is the main things equity shares with the differential rights ka provision is not required because it's anyway eliminated so that's your quick revision relating to this topic thank you